All right, now we're going to go over the upload your school logo. If you want to uh, update your school logo, in most cases this would just be a new logo, as most schools already, of course, have a logo. So it's just the second one down under the member school database. Let's click on that link. Now it's just a simple wizard that's going to step you through uh, step by step uh, to select your file, review it, and then confirm it. There's some brief instructions down here if you need to review, but it's a very straightforward process. I do want to point out that we can only accept the following uh, file formats that are two different types of JPEGs, JPG or JPEG, GIFs, and then the PNG files, and they must be 5 megabytes or less. Now, I know this is technical jargon for a lot of people, but if you're unsure of that and if the file will not upload due to that reason, then basically you just need to get your uh, district or school's technical um, uh, IT person to help you compress that picture that you're trying to uh, upload. So let's just go through the pro progress here and basically I'm just going to re-upload the current Allen County Scottsville uh, uh, logo. But let's just hit next at the bottom of the screen. Now it's going to ask me to find the file so I'm going to hit choose file and on your computer, depending on what type of computer and operating system you have, it should open up a file selector box. I'm going to go to um, the location where that the file is that I want to upload. And once I click on it and select it, it's going to show the file name there. Then I'm going to hit Next. It's uploading. And it's going to let me confirm my picture. And basically, as you see in this case, I just used the same picture that I, the Allen County Scottsville has. If that's the picture that you want, you simply hit next and, and you get another uh, confirmation. It says your logo hasn't been sent yet. Below is what will be sent. If you're ready to send, press the next button at the bottom of the page. And thanks, after reviewing your logo, the KHSA will install it online. So basically now at that point, KHSA staff will be notified of that change and they, once approved, will upload that logo permanently. So it could take a few days. Thank you.